Well, good afternoon from Two Happy Children Farm. We hit 100 degrees for the first time today. So I'm in the shed instead of out in the field doing filming. Um, I've been driving up the driveway and noticing some yellow streaks. And it's uh, out in my field where I'd done a nitrogen study. And I thought I'd share with you the results of what I've gotten here. So um, we're a continuous corn, no-till farm here. So in the fall I put out um, 50 pounds of nitrogen in the form of uh, ammonium sulfate and DAP on my acres. And that was to uh, start offsetting the carbon penalty and um, breaking down the residue. We get uh, 300 days or so a year over 50 degrees so residue is constantly being worked and the microbes are using that nitrogen to to break it down. So 50 pounds in the fall then I did uh, 50 pounds pre-plant over the top. Um, this was liquid 32 and then I came back with side dressing I think I published it as around V5 and I have two different side dress rates. Um, these are both on a 27,000 population. The top years side dressed at 105 pounds and the bottom years side dressed at 145 pounds. So in crop this bottom area had a total of 195 pounds nitrogen and the top years had a total of 155 pounds nitrogen and what's interesting to note is this ear and this ear have the same amount of kernels there are 16 around 30 long roughly but you notice there's a huge difference in the kernel size so this ear here with about you know 200 pounds of nitrogen compared to the one on the right um, is a lot bigger. So for that extra 40 pounds of nitrogen, um, we got this size ear. Actually, what was it? 40 or 50 pounds? I think it's 40 pounds compared to that size ear. So we'll carry this through to the combine and get the actual numbers on the yield. But what's interesting is this ear, it tells you um, what you probably already know. Um, nitrogen is used, I think what they say, 75% of it, it's after V9. So I had already set up a nice kernel for kernels around, I'd set up something nice and long. This is a 32 or 34 long ear. But without the nitrogen, I wasn't able to finish the ear off. Whereas this one, I set up the 16 around by 32. And with the proper amount of nitrogen, it was able to push out and make the kernels that they're supposed to be like. So these upper ears just ran out of late season nitrogen, whereas these lower ears had plenty. So that's an update from Two Happy Children Farm. I'm looking at my nitrogen study. And um, the reason I know it's the nitrogen being short is there was about a 30 by 50 foot patch where I put no nitrogen on at all. And uh, that's where this ear came from no nitrogen on that side dress. So he really only had 50 pounds pre-plant. So that's the ear he makes compared to the, uh, this year. And on, just so people are concerned that we're using too much nitrogen, um, these ears came from the area where I did a tissue sample and it was all within the right uh, range. So we never had an excess amount of nitrogen. This is what the ear should like look like with the with the right amount. So you guys aren't seeing yellow streaks in your field, or if you are, you did it on purpose, and you're you're getting your nitrogen ranges zoned in, dialed in. 
Um, I think I'm figuring out what mine range is. It's uh, probably 50 pre-plant, 120 to 140 um, on my side dress. I think the range of uh, having uh, over 40 pounds difference between my higher, upper and lower and my side dress was just too much. Um, this I should have upped it by another 20 pounds at least and uh, would have gotten probably a little better result and maybe even the same result. Um, I have a feeling we're getting close just off by a little bit. So there you go, first 100 degree day at uh, Two Happy Children Farm. Looking at some nitrogen results and uh, we'll get in the combine cab here in a few weeks and hopefully see what these strips look like. Thank you.